we're doing something a little different today. I am at Mandy's house and we are so excited to do a collab together. As we were talking today, we were just uh, finding out <laughs> that I am a plotter and she is a pantser, which I just blows my mind, okay? And you guys know that I talk about plotting a lot, so I was like, can I please pick your brain? And then what we're gonna do is Mandy's gonna have a video on her channel picking my brain about plotting, so this is gonna be fun. So Mandy, before we get into mm -hmm. this, would you just tell my audience a little bit about yourself? Okay, so my name is Mandy Lynn. I also have a YouTube channel. I'm the author of these three books. I've got Essence. I am Mercy and she's not here which may or may not be out by the time this video goes up um, and I also am the creator of Author Tube Academy and I just make a whole lot of YouTube videos. <laughs> yeah she does a lot of awesome stuff you guys so if you're not already following her which I'm sure a lot of you are but if you're not already <laughs> you should definitely go check out her channel and all her wonderful books and offerings so anyway are you excited? I'm excited. Okay <laughs> right. we haven't told each other what questions we're going to ask each other so this should be interesting. My first question is, have you always been a pantser or have you ever tried more formal plotting before? Like, mm -hmm. did you always know that you were a pantser? So, I like, like I was saying earlier, I'm a plantster. Uh, I do a little bit of both. Uh, Essence was a completely pants novel. I just sat down and started writing. Um, I am Mercy, I plotted out and then ignored it, the plot about halfway through. And then she's not here. You heard the very long-winded explanation. I would say that's a very much pants novel that about halfway through I started to plot, which is the backwards of what I did for I Am Mercy. Um, so I've, I've done a lot of plotting, and I just don't listen to the plotting. I do a lot of plotting um, in draft two. So I like will write out chapter one, chapter two, what happens, but that's more just reference for myself. So if I forget, because I've... The worst memory um so yeah that's that's uh that story <laughs> yeah for sure so like when you're going through it when you say like you do like a little bit of plotting here and there mm -hmm. is that mostly like in your brain or do you write anything out or do you just like go for it and then you're like hey i'm gonna write things mm -hmm. out as i go like what does that look like i'll either write it in a notebook or more commonly these days it's either like a word document like a working word document where i delete add delete add because that's just how my brain works yeah it's like <laughs> a little more fluid yeah yeah exactly so second question is what would you say are the biggest benefits of doing more of like heavy plants, planting, pantsing? I'm gonna <laughs> call it a multiple different things here. Um, what are the benefits you would say and what are like the hardest points about it? For pantsing? Mm -hmm. um, so the benefits for me at least is that when I'm, if I try to plot, I can only imagine my story going so far before I feel like I get stuck. Because I feel like I re really need to get into the head of the character and just start writing. And sometimes when I'm plotting, I get too excited to continue to plot where I just want to start writing. Um, whereas Panson gives you that, just the ability to just step right into the story and let the story and the characters do all the talking. Mm -hmm. So that's what I really like about it. The, the downside is that sometimes you just get stuck where you, you write yourself into a corner and you don't realize it until it's too late. So then you have to go back and change things and fix things. So that's the biggest downside to plotting. Pantsing, sorry. <laughs> Definitely not plotting. You don't get stuck when you're plotting. Well, mm, we'll talk about that in your video because sometimes you do. So in your process, and you said it's sort of been different with each book, but how many drafts do you think you say you go through? Um, or is it, yeah, or each book, maybe how many drafts? Okay. So, Essence went through 10. Uh, I mean, Mercy went through like three or four. Mm -hmm. She's Not Here is very hard to count because like I was telling you earlier, I kept ditching drafts and completely. So, this is the fourth version of the story. Sure. It's maybe draft four. Of this version. Yeah. Got it. Yeah, that sounds about right. Okay. <laughs> so, how does editing work? with the pants like because you're saying um because i know with me mm -hmm. with the plotting we'll talk about this later like i'm sort of going by my outline to then edit but you're saying you have a lot of the story mm -hmm. that's written but not outlined do you do an outline after mm -hmm. like what does that look like so usually once i have like the book written if i don't have to fix anything like i was saying for she's not here the first half of the story was a different story from the second half so i had to go back and fix the first half um but if 
the story is cohesive <laughs> and it's all the same story, what I do is that if I did have at least somewhat of an outline, I take that outline and I adjust it. So I actually outline my second draft. So I'll go in and I'll take chapter one. This is what happened in chapter one. Chapter two, this is what happened. And I do that as I'm editing the book. That way, if I come to a point where I'm like, ooh, did, did I mention this earlier? Is this a whoopsie? I can look back a lot easier and kind of be able to spot if things are wrong, if things need to be fixed. And then it's also just really good, like for the third draft, fourth draft, or whatever draft you're on, if you're like, oh God, what, what happened? And then you can just look in your outline and be like, okay, it ha that happened in chapter whatever, and then you can jump back to that chapter. Right, so there's more of like plot heavy is like after, yeah. like draft or two. Yeah, I'm just like, not, okay. I'm not good at being able to figure out what's gonna happen. Once I know what's happening, I, I outline it, which is like really backwards, but it's what works for me, and it right. works like pretty effectively. Right, yeah, and sometimes um, like I feel like I get stuck with the plotting, which again we'll talk about, but like, yeah, it's like after I've written out a little bit more, then it's like, oh, this makes mm -hmm. sense. And then, yeah, so sometimes it works backwards. So <laughs> some things to try, guys. So with all of this, this is obviously we're talking about the area of your writing. Mm -hmm. But are you a pantser or a planter in um, other areas of your life? <laughs> or does like that overflow? Because we were just talking about our bullet journals, yes. guys, which <laughs> I definitely want to do more videos on. I think Mandy should definitely do some videos on hers. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so you want to talk a little bit about that. Uh, so I, I'm a, I'm a, a plotter when it comes to just about anything else. Ah, uh, uh, <laughs> like serious plotter. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I was showing her my bullet journal because when it comes to YouTube, author, everything, my whole author life is in my bullet journal. Mm -hmm. Like everything is like documented. Like I, I work in marketing, digital marketing, where it's very much about the numbers and in the stats so that's I track it like religiously I try not to track it too much because you don't want to get caught up on it um but that's my bullet journal and then my like planner <laughs> my calendar slash planner uh, I I have to do's for every day and I was showing her because it's a very messy planner that is scribbled all over but it's got all fun stickers it's though. got that's so really many cool. stickers <laughs> <laughs> that's the best part but yeah so i'm i'm a, a i'm a, pan, a plotter when it comes to my life panster when it comes to my books got it yeah <laughs> so any of you that are that watch my channel that are more of a pantser that's a cool question i'd love to know in the comments like are you a pantser in your whole life or <laughs> just in the area of writing i'd love to know cool so final question is there anything else that you'd like to share about pantsing that we haven't talked about already, or especially for anybody who is a serious plotter but might be thinking about, hey, like as Mandy's talking, I maybe want to try a little bit more pantsing. Mm -hmm. In my process, what would you say to them? I would just say I think there's huge benefits to pantsing just because you do get to touch that, un I don't know, not like uncharted, but you can just go for it and let whatever you want happen, happen. Like you really do let the characters do the talking. Like that's how She's Not Here like really shifted into the book it was because I let one of the characters do the talking and the story changed completely. Mm -hmm. Whereas if I tried to plot it, which I was trying to do, I couldn't make it work plotting. So I just pantsed it and let, let the story take its own shape. Mm -hmm. um, but I do think there's also benefits to plotting because then you don't get stuck like you don't drive yourself into a corner and then realize you have to restart the whole book which I've had to do multiple times mm -hmm. um but it's all part of the process and right. we all have our own processes obviously I have my own process for each book um because I am mercy I tried to religiously plot it but I gave up on the whole plot about halfway through the book because I'm like eh, I want this to happen instead right so I think it's just being flexible with yourself and trying out different things is important right experimenting especially from book to book like you're saying mm -hmm. can be different for every book yeah so. awesome cool well, Mandy thank you so much for telling us a little bit about pantsing and plantsing and all about your books and her new one coming out it's soon. in a hardcover <sighs> So guys, um, definitely check out Mandy's video now where she is going to interview me about plotting. Mm -hmm. So I'll have her channel and I'll have um, some of her other stuff linked below if you wanna check that out. If you've gotten a lot out of this video, definitely give it a like and subscribe. And yeah, we do lots of writerly things and also author platform stuff. So we hope to see you next week and until then, happy writing. Do you, let me show you again.
<laughs> These are the bloopers, guys. Also, 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 also. And also, uh, and also, <laughs> this is what happens. These are all the outtakes that happen. And also, author platform. That's what I want to say. 